today's video, I'm wishing myself happy birthday. What's up guys, we are back with another epic opening video and I said I was wishing myself happy birthday, but honestly, it's Lars. Lars is wishing me happy birthday. I'm making the video, but Lars is the one who provided an awesome birthday mystery box. This is gonna be insane. He sent a specific birthday mystery box. I don't know what's inside. It's a mystery. We're gonna have to find out. Let's crack it open and I'm super excited. First of all, my birthday, I'm getting old. Not 30 yet, but I'm getting there. Second of all, mystery bags. Okay, here it is. I'm taking my first look here. I don't want to get too many spoilers. I'm going to, I think there's a, maybe a giveaway. Oh no, not a giveaway, just a card. Happy birthday, Ruxin. That's me, happy birthday. Yes, awesome, thank you, Lars. Before we get into the rest of it, we have a giveaway. This is actually a giveaway from somebody else who sent me something. Hey, Ruxin, I'm a huge fan of the channel. Wanted to send you something to help support. I saw your videos on wanting to raise money for a new car, but I was tr on training rotation for the military at the time. Thanks for the service. This is from my collection, a modern graded card. If you'd prefer, you could also include this as a giveaway for your channel. So we actually like offered, I guess, for me to sell it, but I think a giveaway would be even cooler. This is a pretty nice card. One thing I would like uh, to ask is, I'm not sure how much grading this card raises the value. Okay, so I'll answer that for you. And I have others from the set that I've graded. Happy hunting, look forward to more awesome content. Okay, so I, he doesn't want his name uh, displayed, so you know who you are if you did this. They sent me an MCD Glory of the Horus. This is a quarter century BGS9. So they're asking, does this really increase the value? Not a ton, because this is a card that uh, is more playable. That's kind of what's bringing its value. Uh, into the Horus archetype or whatever recently. The QCR aspect of it does make it a little bit more collectible because it's like the QCR is a little bit harder to pull, a little bit harder to get. So grading, it's like you're grading the kind of rare card. So there's that, but it's not gonna really be like one that you're really looking to grade. So for when it comes to newer cards, that's kind of the case a lot of the time because a lot of them are getting reprinted a lot and stuff like that. So it has to be something really collectible like Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, like Dark Magician Girl, something like that. If it's new, that's kind of the things you wanna grade. Older, you can like vary a little bit. You can do a little bit more niche stuff it gets a little tougher with the new sets. But this is being given away, so just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and make sure to thank Lars and Anonymous Guy for the giveaway down below. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. If you haven't heard by now, Whatnot is an awesome auction platform where you can buy and sell all kinds of different items. From comics to coins to shoes, and of course, trading cards, Whatnot has it all. And of course, I sell on Whatnot, so if you guys wanna come and hang out on a live stream, because yes, they are live streamed, you get to watch it just like a YouTube live stream, but you could also buy items while watching. We are doing a massive first edition and unlimited hunt for the Dark Magician Girl from Magician's Force. So I have not only a first edition Magician's Force box, but also an unlimited box. And that's not even the best part. I'm giving away an original print Dark Magician Girl to one of you guys who was on the stream. You don't even have to buy anything. So if you wanna be a part of the stream, whether it's to buy a pack or just to watch, make sure you click my link down below, get $15 free credit if you're a new user on your first purchase. Then search my name, Ruxin34 in whatnot, you'll find my profile and you can click bookmark on the show because it's gonna be pretty awesome. I wanna make sure you guys don't forget about it. The show is happening Thursday, April 11th at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. So don't miss it because we're gonna finally pull, I hope, the Dark Magician Girl First Edition. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, I don't even know where to start, uh, but I think it has to be this, which is one of my favorite products ever. So starting here, you know it's gonna be a good mystery box. It took up a lot of the space, but the rest of the stuff, very high quality. So we're going to do this first. Clash of Rebellion Special Edition. Okay, I'll show it for a second over here. As you guys know, these are gigantic. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and get them all out because I don't think the promos are too crazy in core. Like nothing, we're not pulling like Vice Dragon like the other day we thought we might. So uh, let's open this thing up, get all the packs out and then start opening. All right, I've gotten them all out. Let's just go ahead and check it out. We've got two promos there. Just going to get all the promos out at once. They're not going to be yeah, there's only four different ones, I think, out of here. So not going to be super crazy. Uh, we got, okay, I think we've gotten all four now. We've gotten those. Cool. Okay, so those are ready. So many promos because you get two every time. You end up with, I guess, uh, 10, 20 promos. That's a lot of promos. When there's only four options. I guess they weren't really planning for people to buy the entire special edition box back when they did this. All right. Red dragon, red, red eyes, flare metal dragon. There we go. Have I pulled, have I pulled that? I don't think I haven't pulled it. I never pulled it, right? Okay, we're gonna do three from the back till we figure out the 
I think it's the weird pack trick, but I can't remember. Fuzzy Lanius, Ignition Phoenix, Hat Tricker. These are special editions. You guys know why I like those. Completely random ratios. We could go 0 for 30. We could go 30 for 30. We won't now because we already missed one. We could go 29 for 30. How about that? And you could get like multiple ghosts, a ton of ultis, like something crazy could happen. And that's what we want to happen. Flame Eater. It's going to be a little birthday magic. Kanaga, Aroma, Blowtorch, Raptors Force, Silver Claw, Romage, Bergamot. And starting it off hot with a secret rare, Red Eyes, Flare, Metal Dragon. I, we have pulled the secret. We have not pulled the ghost. So I pulled the secret and the ulti. We've never pulled the ghost rare. This is a great start. So if we get the secret, that's a beautiful looking secret, by the way. That is a beautiful pattern. You can still see the card really well. I mean, the artwork, I should say, and the card. So now we just need the ulti and the ghost. We'll get the trifecta, which would be an, an amazing opening. Whew, that's awesome. All right, so I'm super excited uh, for the rest of this video. Also, I want to remind you guys, you guys are probably just seeing it for the first time, the Whatnot thing this Thursday, opening two MFC boxes, first dead and unlimited, going for Dark Magician Girl twice. We're giving away a third Dark Magician Girl, assuming we pull the other two. There could be a trifecta of Dark Magician Girls that night. You don't even have to buy something to get that Dark Magician Girl giveaway, so make sure you join that. Click the $15 link down below, and uh, you'll support the channel. I appreciate it. Kamongus and uh, Form H. Kamongus. You know, I actually might have said that right. Kamongus. Is that how you say that? I was about to say, I said that so wrong and then I looked at it. That might actually be right. I don't know. So yeah, I'm super excited for MFC this Thursday. It's going to be super fun. 630. Uh, bookmark the stream. It's going to be amazing. Super pumped. Uh, also, we've done some really cool videos recently. Thanks to Lars, we've done another mystery box. Might have seen it yesterday. Might have be two days in a row of Lars. Uh, there's also... The we visited a store and I purchased twenty thousand uh, dollar Yu-Gi-Oh collection the other day, which is insane. Uh, and a lot of it's on Ruxin34.com. So if you have not been over there recently, go check that out. PSA return. I feel like we've had some really fun videos recently. I'm hoping we can keep that up. Haven't had a lot of we haven't had a new set like in English in forever. We've had a lot of OCG sets to help, but it's been a long time and we've still had some great content, which is nice. Sometimes like there's a bunch of new sets in a row and then sometimes there's not a lot. So you kind of got to do your thing okay ogre sutton doji so we've been able to get some pretty cool videos recently which is awesome all right clash of rebellion this is great let's see what we can do lars you are clutch we're hooking us up with this mystery box see if we can get something crazy right here like a ghost or a camel up for you silver claw rucks and special that's super rare though no that's an ultra i couldn't see the name that's an ultra rare ignis to prominence the blasting draco slayer watch out he'll blast you we have a secret an ultra and a super so far you know what that means we just need an ulti and ghost to have every rarity in the set. Three from the back. We have Trick Box, Pandora, Margrave, Aroma Jar, Silver Claw, Return of the Red Eyes, Ignition Phoenix, Cosmo Town, and Kyoto Waterfront. Okay. 30 packs of Clash of Rebellion. So far, it's been not like the ratios aren't crazy yet. We're doing pretty good, but they aren't like insane. Balance of Judgment. We have Damage Juggler, Fair Flames, Slew Tiger, Paladin. We have Cosmo Forerunner. And Void Imagination, this is a really good super. I don't think it's had a reprint. It used to be like a $10 super. I'm not totally sure if that's still the case, but I don't think it's had a reprint. It should still be a good card. This set is super weird. It's like in the era where a lot of the cards haven't been reprinted and like a lot of the supers. So a lot of the supers are actually money, like, you know, five to $10 cards for just supers, which is really good. We got the uh, the Chain Chomp, Hat Tricker, Camel Lump, Magical Abduct, wait. I think there's two cards left, aren't there? No, there's not. Okay, that felt like two cards for some reason. No ghost, no ulti yet. Ultis are tough in these sets because back in this era, 2015, you only got four ultis in a set and it was like one every like three boxes. If I'm, I think I'm correct about that. So it's pretty tough to actually get an ultimate rare because ultimate rares were not that hard to pull even in GX because it was like one every 12, you got a, an ultimate rare. And they kind of scaled back on that. And that's right before they eliminated ultis. I'm wondering if that's because ultis were too expensive to print, kind of like Ghost Rare, same thing. They cut back on doing both of those. You know, they didn't do any at all after 2016. 2016, they started doing no ghosts, no ultis. And I think the ghost was because of cost. I'm guessing ulti was as well because they cut out both and people, I mean, I guess at that point, by 2015, ultis were like, you know, they weren't as popular as they are now because they had had them for so many years straight. It's like, yeah, ulti, whatever. It's kind of like QCR, you know? We've had QCRs for over a year and they're starting to be like, okay, QCR. I've seen a lot of QCRs. They had had ultis for like 10 years back in 2015 so it's like whatever it's just an ultimate rare but what we haven't had them in so long other than ots that we're like how could you ever miss an ulti there's or not miss an ulti they're amazing so yeah it's like you know absence makes the heart grow fonder when it comes to uh rarities as well crystal rose same thing with gold rares you know that's what they do to us they pull away gold rares we're like man they weren't that bad they bring them back we're like ew these suck so yeah that's just kind of how it works 
Uh, ultis, though, I mean, I don't think anybody was ever like, these suck, but they were also not as popular as they are now. What in the world is happening? I cannot get this pack apart. They're getting stuck to me. We have the Chain Chomp, Waterfront, Trick Box. I keep hitting my hand. Camel Up, Paladin, Gallant, a lot of Ignites. It was like five in a row in a row mage. Kananga, that is... We're not doing so hot. We were kind of on a... We, we got the Red Eyes Flare Metal. We've kind of slowed down since then. Trick Box, come on. Pandora's Box, Margrave, Camel Up. Paladin, we got Gallant, dude, he goes so many Ignites in here, Dragong, and Red Eyes Arch Fiend of Lightning, I think this actually might have an ulti in here, maybe I'm thinking of the Red Eyes Fusion, the, the Beast Skull Fusion, I should say, I think that's the one with the ulti, though they could maybe both have it, I'm not totally sure actually, so we know Red Eyes Flare Metal has one, I think the Fusion has one, that leaves only two more, and I don't remember what they are off the top of my head, Bubble Barrier, let's just pull one and find out, Trick Cloud, the good, this little thing fell out of the pack, okay, the good thing about having only four ultis is they should all be bangers, right? In theory, we have extra buck and Raid Raptor singing Lanius. Not necessarily true, but if you only pick four, like, they should all be cool cards or at least good cards. The thing is, though, it's been like 10 years since this almost. Almost the 10-year anniversary of 2015, you know, 2025. Uh... You know, they might have been a great card originally, and then later it becomes not so great. Aromage Rosemary! I feel like... I feel like one of the Aromage cards might be an ulti. I'm not sure though, but like maybe back then, like an Aromage was amazing. And like having an ulti of what the best card was awesome. But then 10 years later, it's like the archetype sucks. Nobody really cares about it anymore. And then it's like, this is a crappy ulti. Why'd they pick this? And it was like, well, because at the time it was better. That's three in a row. Camelump, Romajar, Silver Claw, four Ignites. And Jiangxing Magician. I remember pulling multiple of these in our recent core opening. Okay, so another foil. We are getting foils today. We're just not getting the highest rarity. Just one high rarity card. See if we can keep that up. By the way, don't forget, there are a few other items in here, and they step it up even more than core. And I really like core, so that's saying something. Tromarilla, Squire, Melody's Diva, Bergamot, and Salute Tiger. Very nice. Clash of Rebellion. Mystery Shell Dragon right at the beginning. Ferret Flames. We got Damage Juggler. Blowtorch, the 2k attacker. What is this? What is this flavor text? Mysterious living matter that suddenly appeared from a different dimension. Its attack paralyzes the target's nerves and causes intense hallucinations. It seems like that would have an effect if it does that, you know, but it just attacks. So flame meter, uh, Drumarilla. We have Marksman King Tell and Silver Claw. Silver Fang, where's the Raigeki for the ultimate combo? I mean, that would be pretty intense you know if those two could work together all right three from the back we've got melodious diva high tricker rucks and special despot 005 pianissimo trick clown roma jar shell dragon cosmo town and fuzzy lanius raid raptors was this the original raid raptor set i think it might be 2015 that sounds about right for when they would have come out because i don't remember them before that Singing Lanius, Bubble, Barry. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of them too, so it makes sense. The Blowtorch is kind of a hilarious card. Super Heavy Samurai Blowtorch, Raptor's Force, Silver Claw, Sky Dragoons of Dracos, Draconia. Oh, and the ultimate rare, Ignister Prominence, the Blasting Draco Slayer. Watch out, he might blast you. You gotta be careful around this guy. He's a blaster. Okay, so that is one of the ultis. So that's one of the four ultis, one of the two I couldn't think of. So that's pretty cool. And that puts us at three or an ulti and a secret, two ultras and a bunch of supers. And we still have like eight packs left, something like that. One, two, three. Here we go. Trick Clown, Pianissimo, Pandora, Backup Rider, Gallant, Bloody Steve, Despot 005, Eskir, and High Speed Ward Kendama. What? I, I think I've seen this card as a reprint, maybe? I don't remember it from this set, but maybe, well, I'll say that it'll have one printing and it'll be this set. So maybe, I don't know. I feel like I've seen it maybe like once. Not a card that I'm super familiar with. Another Ultra though. Pretty crazy. We are balling out. But Speed Ward, I bet that card is in Synchro Storm then, because they had a lot of Speed Ward cards. Secret Blast, Fuzzy Lanius, let's go. Brilliant Spark, Raptor's Force, Blowtorch, Man Dragon, and Black Metal Dragon. Okay, the OG Black Metal Dragon. Pretty cool, we got a few left, come on. Give us some luck, guys. Birthday video. Here we go. Let's pull something crazy. I want that Ghost Trey Red Eyes Flare Metal. I've never pulled it. Ruxin Special Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Flame Eater, the uh, Chain Chomp, Ignite Lancer. Infernoid Decatron. Infernoid. I cannot speak. So we might even be at like 10 foils. I feel like every time I open special editions, there's just a lot of foils in there, which is super awesome. Which we did have a, kind of a dry spell there, but I feel like we're coming back. But I guess back then you would get like nine foils. 
eight or nine foils, and then there's an extra six packs for a booster box. So maybe I've got a sneeze coming. We gotta hurry. Rose Paradise Lost, come on. Don't sneeze. Opera, Crystal Rose, and Brilliant Spark. I think it might've went away. I might've scared it off. I'm not gonna lie. Four packs left. Did I scare off the sneeze? That is the question. Or did I scare off the Ghost Rare? Hopefully not. Whew, these cards are like, they're just shuffling through really well. They're making it really easy on me to open these up. Like a lot of times the cards are really like frictiony and stuff. They are not doing that today. I might be a little warped to some of these cards though. No, not too bad though. So you should be able to flatten it out and everything. Okay. Goku. Ah, give us a ghost rare, wavering Phoenix, Attack Trigger, Launcher, Roma Charger, Gong. Oh, let's repent the Draco Slayer. I'm going to pass out though. That hurt. That was a little aggressive too. Yeah, uh, that was too much. Um, yeah, maybe next time. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should see if. Tristan, hey Tristan, yo Tristan, no, I can't, Tristan's not talking to himself, yo Joey, let me open this pack for you bro, Pianissimo, I'm about to pull the Ghost Rare, Pandora, Aroma Jar, we got Camelump, Paladin, Ignite Gallant, Raptor's Gust, DDD Marksman King Tell, and finally, here's the moment you've been waiting for Joey, I got you, Ah, oh, the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon Ultimate Rare Tristan from the first 13 episodes of the original anime pulls the ultimate. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, didn't quite get the Ghost Rare Tristan, but hey, I'll give you a, a knuckle, Tristan. That was pretty nice. We got the secret and the ulti now. Tristan going crazy. And you know what that means for this last pack? We've got both the other Red Eyes Flare Metal. Should we invite Tristan back for an encore? Hey, Tristan! Yo, Tristan, we need your help over here, buddy. Hey, you say you need my help? I got you. I just pulled the ultimate rare. Let me follow it up with my favorite way to end an opening. A ghost rare. Here we go, DD Pandora. By the way, we're not ending in the opening because we have more packs after this. Tristan, though, is opening this last pack of here. Ignite Squire, we have Paladin, Gallant, Raptor's Guts, come on, baby. Fuzzy Laney is Cosmo Town for Joey Wheeler. Trick box, okay. I've lost my magic, I'm not gonna lie, guys. All right, we're sending Tristan to the, to the doghouse. He failed. Okay, there's a few more items left in here. We're gonna do this one because it's different. We did this one in the other box the other day. Gold Series Haunted Mine. We had really good luck in the last one. Let's see if we can follow it up. Let's open this thing up. Really proud of Tristan for what he's achieved today, but we're gonna have to send him out of here because, you know. He gets a little excitable sometimes. Uh, oh, I wasn't supposed to open it like that, was I? I was supposed to open it like this. Okay, whoops, uh, figured it out. All right, Gold Series Haunted Mine, one pack of 25 cards. There's a guaranteed ghost rare in here. Blue Eyes Potential, Gold Ghost Blue Eyes White Dragon. Here we go. Let's see what we can pull. Okay, so last time I did a little, uh, little bit of this. I think it's like right there. So I pulled all the cards, like just an extra one, just in case. So that's only three cards. So we gotta do that. And then we gotta put that one and then uh so the ghost was at the front last time so if it is this one it might be at the front so i'm gonna go like this just to be safe so it's like one of the last two cards all right 25 cards we have mustering of the dark scorpion bone crusher regenerating mummy don zalug zombie master copy knight pyramid turtle we have goblin zombie dark scorpion dawn of the herald dark mimic pyramid of wonders we have hell palmer spellbook of organization double costin physical double a ryukoki gurnia Dark Scorpion Cliff, the Trap Remover. Book of Life. Dark Mimic Level 1. Formula Syngrant. Okay, so I did it right. Here are the Gold Rares. No, that's a rare. Okay, this is a common. So, okay, so the next one might be the Ghost Rare then. Oh, it's a Ritual. Hopefully this isn't the Ghost. Ah, <laughs> Hair the Perfection. Okay, not as good as yesterday. We got the Naturia Beast. This is still a beautiful card. I really like the, uh, the way they did the coloring on these Ghost Rares. Looks pretty. If it had a little bit more 3D effect, it has some going on there, but it could, these could be the best Ghost Rares ever if they had a little bit more pop out effect, kind of like uh, uh, they do in some of the 5Ds ones. But that's still really awesome. It looks really, really good. And that leaves us with a little finale opening something I've never pulled before. We have four Duelist Genesis. I'm assuming these are unlimited, not first dead. That would be a little crazy. Uh, and then there's also two special editions. So. We've got 10 packs of Duelist Genesis here. Oh, what do we go with first? I think we do the special editions first because the blisters just feel special, you know? I mean, the special editions do too. Special, get it? But uh, something about a blister pack being open is always super fun. So let's crack into these, see what we can get. I've never pulled the Stardust Ghost Rare. This would be a great birthday present to me, even though it's not even my card. <laughs> Doesn't have to be my card. It'd be so fun. Let's go. Tristan already gave us some great luck. Let's see if I can give myself some luck here and Lars some luck. Oh, I just threw this promo. What is it? 
Oh, Heraclinos. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's just go one at a time. Take our time. Enjoy this thing. <sighs> let's go. Go sure. This, this could be my last pull, like, before, because I'm recording it before my birthday, because I'm posting it on my birthday, before my, you know, I turn another year older. So my last pull of this year, age-wise. Whoa, okay, here we go. Three upside down. Uh, is it three from back on Duelist Genesis? We're just going to do that. I don't know. That's going to be a ghost. We'll just mark my words. Here we go. Space Gate. Ghost Gardener. The noisy net. That's me sometimes. Remote revenge. We have Crabons. Uh, medium Peace Golem. Jung Barrage. Dark Resonator. I hope that this is a foil. Let's go. Ooh, Gladiator Beast War Chariot. Very good card. So it is three from the back. This is a really nice super rare. Obviously, it's had reprints, so the money's not crazy on it. But very strong card for Gladiator Beast in Edison. So we've already got the Heraclinos. Now we've got that Heraclinos, not exactly the best Gladiator Beast, but hey, it's 3k attack. It's got a negate. Pretty cool. All right, Duelist Genesis. Let's keep it up, baby. Let's keep it up. Three from the back. We have Judgment of Thunder, Gear Town, Twin Shield Defender, Oyster Meister, Needlebug Nest, Medium Peace Golem, Tricky Spell 4, Handcuffs Dragon. Watch out. He's going to handcuff you. And Sword of Kusanagi. I have seen the Kusanagi many, many times. Because we've opened a lot of Duelist Genesis. I mean, the number of packs we've opened is well over the ratio for the for the Stardust Ghost Rare. One, one in 288, we've definitely opened 288 packs over the course of the years. But we still have not gotten lucky yet. I'm hoping that this is the time. Synchro Deflector, Noisy Gnat, Dark the Dark Charmer, Junk Barrage, Rux and Special, Fish Step Charge, Small Piece Golem, Mind Master, and we have Telekinetic Shocker. All right. So we got a super, not terrible. Still another one. We still have hope. I mean, we didn't pull anything crazy. Really what we're looking for besides the Stardust Ghost Rare is the Stardust Ultimate Rare, Stardust Ultra Rare. We're looking for the uh, Charge of the Light Brigade, which I have pulled a couple of times. First Dead. I think we pulled it on, we pulled it on limb for somebody recently. It was Charge of the Light Brigade, right? Man, now I can't remember when that was, and it wasn't that long ago. I thought it was Charge of the Light Brigade, wasn't it? Somebody remind me in the comments. I'm, I'm getting old, guys. As, as you know, it's my birthday. I'm getting old. I'm losing it completely. Okay. Just double check there's no first deads randomly. I don't think that's a thing that happens in Duel's Genesis Special Edition. That's a raging battle thing. But hey, I'd love to be the first for it to happen to. It'd be great. Okay, one, two, three. Ganago, Battle Tune, Silent Strider, Junk Barrage, Fist Step Charge, Small Piece Golem, Crabons, Yamato no Kami, and Domino Effect for uh, Domino City. Watch out. Okay, Duel's Genesis. I right, Come on, come on, Special Editions. You're special for a reason, right? You're gonna be special for me. Give me something big. Recycling batteries. We got Hedgehog, Telepathic Power, Orbi Saka, Commander, Barrier, Destructotron, Fighting Spirit, and Kinkabayo. All right. We always pull this creepy cat. This card was expensive for a while. I don't know if it still is, but an expensive super, like expensive as in like five bucks, but for an unlimited super, that's expensive. Last pack. We've gotten two supers so far, so we can't complain. We haven't gotten nothing. Let's try to turn it around right here. Come on. We have Gear Town. Twin Shield Defender, Psychic Snail, Structotron, Dr. Cranium, Mirror of Yada, Dark to Dark Charmer, Graceful Revival, and Ghost Baby Nitro Warrior. <laughs> Synchro, I got excited for the Synchro. It's just a Nitro Warrior, which is an Ultra, so it's not terrible, but when I saw that Synchro, there are a lot of Synchros in Duel's Genesis, so there's a lot of things I could fake you out. Four blister packs left. Here we go. Time to destroy this beautiful blister. They have a little bit more of a third-party vibe to them, though. Like, they're not as, like, detailed as the original ones, but they, could, they would have, like, Stardust in the background on here. It's just kind of like, 5Ds, and you say. I mean, it feels not as not as great as some of the originals. If they put Stardust all over the blister pack, they would have been way better. Uh, but, okay, maybe they can figure that out when they go back in time and do it again. Okay, what is happening with this crimp? It's like folded. That's super. That feels crazy. Is this like a Euro pack or something? That is a super gritty. I like it, actually. It feels really quality. All right, one, two, three. Oh, upside down card? Uh, I don't know what that means. Let's find out. We have Synchro Deflector. Hopefully it doesn't mean it's a, just a common sword. Jung Barrage, Beast of the Pharaoh, Light Wave Tuning, Dark the Dark Charmer, Dark Resonator, and Mind Protector. Okay, three packs left. Come on. Duelist Genesis, an Ultra and two Supers. It's really not bad, but I want an ulti. I want a secret. I really want a ghost. I mean, that's what we really want. I mean, uh, to be honest, it's the ghost rare that we're really looking for. Okay, this is uh, interesting. Dr. Cranium, one, two, three from the back. It feels a little warped for some reason. Maybe that means there's a ghost rare in here. Ganago, Battle Tune, that never actually means that. Cranium, Yada, Dark the Dark Charmer, Junk Barrage, Mind Over Matter, and a Psychic Snail. As I said, never means that. Two left. 
two left. You guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out Ruxa34.com if you guys want to purchase something. A lot of that stuff that's sealed, I can open it for you on a video if you'd like. So it'd be really cool. Check that out if you would like. And don't forget about the big Magician's Force first ad and unlimited opening with the Dark Magician Girl giveaway on Thursday on whatnot. See you there. Two packs left. A lot of cool stuff and exciting stuff on the channel previously and coming up. So it's, it's a good time. It's a good time to be following. Good time to be opening some cool stuff. All right, three from the back. We have Noisy Nat, Sword of Kusanagi, Judgment of Thunder, Lightsworn Bear, Destructotron, Mirror of Yada, Small Piece Golem, Trap of Darkness, and Ghost Cardina. Leaving us with one more pack. One more chance. Duelist Genesis. I mean, at this point, we're at, I don't know how many packs of Duelist Genesis we've opened. It's kind of like the Starlight Star uh, Stardust, except for it's the Ghost Stardust. We have had trouble with both of those. Last pack magic here, guys. Here we go. It's been a fun opening. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Here we go. Recycling batteries. That was an old meme back in the day. Quillbolt Hedgehog. Power. Trick Spell. Psychic Commander. Dr. Cranium. Remote Revenge. We got Yamato no Kami. And finally, our last chance of the Ghost Star Stardust for today. Here we go. Judgment of Thunder. So the Ghost Star Stardust will have to wait. Shout out Lars once again for this awesome opening. And thank you guys for watching on my birthday. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.